All right, welcome to part two of the Gradius Three commentary. That we this beat song, the shit out of that. This song always reminds me of Sewer Surfing from TMNT Four. Well, they're both produced I by know, Konami, so I know they just sound really samey to me. Fantastic music, though. Yeah, I, 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 again, I said before that I love this game's soundtrack. I don't know if we got off before the part. I said it's the reason why we're blocked in Germany. <laughs> oh, really? I was wondering. Yeah. Why, I was wondering why there were ads yeah. on part one. Of this shit. <laughs> it's like, why is there ads okay. here? Just, re just remember to delete those so we have the 15 minute. Yeah, I'm gonna delete those, and I'm gonna make sure the audio is low enough so that we don't get blocked on the main channel. <laughs> no, as long as you re-import these parts and then put the audio back on top of it, they won't notice this tracked at all. No. As long as our voices are drowning out the music exponentially, they won't notice a damn thing. Floating space Easter Island heads? Yep. It's a Konami tradition, man. Don't question it. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Metroid rings. Look Rink out for the Rinkas? Metroid ring. Rinkas? <laughs> Rinkas? They fucking shoot Rinkas? <laughs> Squidward wants revenge. <laughs> I don't understand. I really don't understand what Konami's fascination with the Easter Island heads. I really don't, because they're fucking everywhere in every single game they produce. If, you, if it's it's not a Konami game, if the Easter Island head is not in it. In fact, I'm pretty sure if I look hard enough, I can find one one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. Isn't there? I don't know. <laughs> I'm they're gonna going, go look. They're going to red. <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, they're not going three times fast. So they just have the ability. So they're not the red comet. Hmm. No, they they turn red, which means they now have the ability to turn and shoot. That's it, though. <laughs> <laughs> the red comet can do that naturally. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and just about every single fucking uh, space shooter Konami made, there's gonna be an Easter Island head somewhere in there. There's even a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card with the Easter Island head, and I think it's part of the Gradius collection. There's a Gradius collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, the uh, uh, you know you got you got the Vic Viper. You have yeah, you have a, you have the card itself called Gradius. Uh, okay. Then, yeah, then you have. Yeah, then you have the, the big core cards. Actually, we'll be seeing a lot of them later on in this game. <laughs> I never played Yu-Gi-Oh, so news to me. Yeah, that's actually uh, uh, it's one it's it's one uh, collection of uh, cards that my uncle's trying to uh, complete. Is this Gradius collection? It's nice. They're they're terrible cards to use in the game, but <laughs> it, it it's nice. Huh. So very random. And suddenly the music fade out. We must be close. Oh, there, there it goes. <laughs> now this sounds awfully familiar. You mean the song itself, or the yeah, fact the, that you heard song. it already? <laughs> no, no, no. It just sounds like it's from somewhere else. You know when the turtles get transported back in time? Oh, that's what it time. is. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Actually, I never. Yeah, you're right. I, I never did uh, draw those parallels. Like By thing. the way, really, really fucking hate those falling rocks. They don't happen in the. They don't happen in earlier difficulties, but they only. Ugh, really pain in the ass. Is that a boss? What? Yeah, that was a boss. That <laughs> <laughs> by so quickly, I didn't realize. Because Johnny's a cheating for. I thought uh, something was gonna come laser. out. I was like, oh wait, uh, that the, was the it. energy laser is just <laughs> broken. That's all. Shooting board. Don't worry, guys. I get my comeuppance later on. Trust me. <laughs> I don't care. This game's hard as fuck. <laughs> I'm not playing the f depression. <laughs> Have you ever beaten arcade mode without cheating? Uh, uh once. Once. Was it glorious? Okay. It was me alive. I could actually. Uh, what I'm doing here, I'm actually. Uh, I did three buttons. Uh, one was the guy who unlock arcade. The other was the Amico. The Amico would be the third block. What all those bullshit you did. Hold on, you're. 
getting spazzy. <laughs> what? Am I disoriented? Disordered? I heard you that time. Oh. Ah, fucking option hunter. Oh, now you're back. You see, it was just it was at the most inopportune time. Fucking, you know, try and take one of your eyes. It's also really weird that this particular option formation that's going on. Alright, right, the, the option formation that I'm using now is called the R option, which I'm guessing is for now. I'm not sure. It's not a hard version at all. I don't get why. How is this stuff on fire in space? Uh. I don't it just know. Is. <laughs> it just is. <laughs> There's no fire in space. Uh. Well, at the very least, it wouldn't last very long. It almost looks impossible. Thanks. No, it's, it's very possible. You just gotta spam the hell out of the shoot button. Uh, fun fact, the fire actually can't hurt you. Really? Yeah, you can, you, can, you can fly in the fire, you just can't touch the mountainside. Picky ship is picky. Yeah. <laughs> what the ball bag? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? And yeah, it is- oh god, oh god. <laughs> If you're not careful, that boss can trap you like that, and if you're not fast enough, it will get you. But that's... Yeah. And in case you need an explanation, yes, that shrapnel can kill you. But if, if, if you kill that dragon head on the oh. outer... Yeah, if, you, if you're on the outer level, uh, limits of the level, when you kill that dragon, you gotta dodge that shrapnel when it explodes. If not, you gotta do that boss all over again. <laughs> Death by exploded bits of quartz. Yeah, it's a real, it's like the most <laughs> shameful way to die. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, you know, it's good to get, it's bad to get uh, trapped by the dragon, but at the same time, it's like the best possible way to kill it, because you'll never get hit by the shrapnel that way. Anyway, it, since we're getting further into the game, you know, shit's coming at us a lot faster now. And there's gonna be, uh, starting with this level, there's gonna be projectiles all over the fucking place. And you know, one thing though, like, I what the, how are we, uh, what? What? <laughs> Background, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, this is looking pretty bullet hellsy to me. Not quite as bad as Toho, but... No. The game one. will never get as bad as Toho. The game at, ne at at no point gets as bad as a Toho. Oh god damn it! Oh, you died. Oh god. But um, uh, one of the things I'm never too sure upon is uh, uh, how many speed ups I need. Most of the time, I usually just get two, and I'm fine. But then there, then I have the problem of dealing with those really picky sections where I have to maneuver the ship really fucking fast, and I end up. <laughs> running into a wall. Again, if how you don't are we kill... suddenly inside? I don't know. Uh, uh, one of those, uh, those spore plants right there, by the way, you want to kill those things the moment you see them on the screen. Because if you don't kill them fast enough, they explode and they release all those spores, which is why I died right there. <laughs> Even when you're shooting poor, you lose. Yeah. Oh, I haven't the worst yeah. I did. I can imagine. You know. Yeah. Speed up. <laughs> oh, hold up. Yeah. See? It's like, so, it's like Silver fun. Surfer. <laughs> now, this is a legitimate challenge. How many times are you going to have to input the Konami code? Actually, uh, I'll to input the Konami code from up high before it put that on you. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what determines the amount of time you can speak. This is the first time ever I've played the game and I'm able to do the code so I can row like this. I do know that you're, uh, 
input one thing to continue and you get a game over here to continue. You get to come all the time before having to do the entire game yourself the legitimate way. By the way, I really hate when my ship is this fucking big and confined there like this. Ah! God damn it. You to died. this day, it makes me jump. <laughs> you died again. Yeah. It's actually one of the only uh, death animations that to this day still make me jump. And I'm a 23 year old guy, man. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah, it, it's so it's so it's so abrupt and it's so sudden. You know, there's no flashy explosion. There's no prolonged death sequence. It's just boom. It's a high pitching noise. It just it, it greatly signifies you fucked up. You gotta do it again. I still get that with and Super those, Meat Boy. <laughs> I never played Super Meat Boy. It's like in Super Meat Boy, you're always trying to dodge some bug saws and stuff, and every time he hits you, it's just whoosh, just dead, and you feel it, and you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, by the way, these plant hands that are reaching for my soul are indestructible. You can't kill them. They can only kill themselves after they uh, give up on life. And wouldn't you fucking know what a fucking option hunter right there? I fucking hate those things. Yeah, but in case you couldn't tell by now, like, the blue power ups uh, wipe, out the wipe off every enemy on screen. Needless to say, they're rare. <laughs> and what's our next boss? Nope, we're traveling back in time Giant again. Plant. Go big. Uh, uh, the little shop of plant, horrors. Right? The little shop of horrors. What am I looking at? <laughs> little shop oh, of, it's a plant. Oh, little, oh thank God. <laughs> little shop of horrors, Johnny. It, it really? I, I always thought it was a giant uh, plant ass. <laughs> that too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 